One of the core concepts in every programming language is the concept of variables. It doesn't matter what kind of program you're writing, you're going to need to store information to use at a later time. In JavaScript, we create variables by using the keyword var. After the word var, we come up with a name for the variable. So, for example, we could use age. This line, var age, would create a variable called age. Variables are like boxes. You can create a box, different sized boxes. Different sized boxes can hold different things. Some boxes you might use to store a Ferrari. Other boxes would be used to hold a dozen cookies. So there's different sized boxes for different types of things. JavaScript is what's known as a softly typed language. And in a softly typed language, you can create variables and put anything you want in them. The container will size itself to match the value that you're storing. So we're creating a variable called age. We're going to store a number inside there. So we can write var age. That's going to be an, like an empty box with the label age on the side of it. Or we could create a variable called age, I'll say number two, and put a number directly into there. So there we go. We've got a variable called age with nothing in it. So there's an empty box with the label age on it. And then we have an empty box with the label age two on it. Inside that one, we have put the number 25. So we're going to assume from this point forward that the box called age two is going to hold numbers. We can put different things in different variables. I can create one called name and put the string Rick inside of it. We could create a new date object and put that inside of the variable. So I create a variable called today and set that equal to a new date. There's another const construct. With the keyword new, we can create certain kinds of objects. This thing right here, date with a capital D followed by two round parentheses, this is going to create a date object. And that whole object is going to be placed inside of the variable called today. So we have four variables here. One called age, one called age two, one called name, and one called today. So it's like we've got four boxes. The first one has nothing in it. The second one has the number 25. Third one has the string Rick. And the last one has a date object.